thank you for coming today. I'll try and make it as short as possible. I actually thought that um, I could um, project, uh, but then I will just then use my notes um, in terms of this engagement. Uh, so maybe speaking more from the work that we do at the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture. And just to give an overview, uh, particularly to our partners, uh, NAMRA, uh, what we mean by creative industries um, and what that entails. Um, yeah, so maybe just to start with a brief kind of introduction, and, and this is an introduction that is borrowed from an Namibian academic and musician uh, and researcher and former member of the National Arts Council of Namibia, the late Dr. Minat Mans, who's done a lot of research on music. She started out and asked, imagine a world where there is no song to celebrate religion or childhood or love or any song um, where there is no color and design to brighten our spaces. There is no literature to remember our humanities. There is no dance to celebrate life. There are no stories. We don't use funny faces or voices. When we communicate with our infants, there are no national anthems. There is no traditional cultural dress or modern fashion design, jewelry, or architecture for that matter where there is no art. Mind you, I didn't dress up because of that. <laughs> this is all part of another workshop that I was part and parcel of. Um, however, I am wearing Namibian designs mostly today. I'm wearing Frida's and I see her there so that she can, <laughs> I'm just acknowledging that I'm wearing your jewelry. Um, yeah, uh, by arts we mean performing arts, music, drama, dance, singing, visual arts, painting, which includes painting, sculpture, design, ceramics, craft, literature, creative writing, autobiographies, you name it. Arts exist in many forms, traditional and contemporary, urban and rural, old and young, created by groups or individuals for themselves or for others to enjoy. There are different values of arts, uh, why we do arts, there's many reasons why we do it. We do it for the economic benefit, we do it for educational benefit, recreational, therapeutic, cultural, social, you name it. Um, so the Ministry of Education is tasked to unlock the creative potential of this nation, uh, to contribute to a rich Namibian identity, uh, to grow the creative industries, or at least support the development of the creative industries uh, by developing and supporting programs to ensure the continued practice of all art forms and for creative industries to contribute to sustainable development in Namibia. The creative industries have multiple dimensions and, and facets, incorporating those who create content, the creators, those who design and make original works, um, artists, those who provide services, advertising, and others who enable consumers to have cultural experiences, arts venues, galleries, theaters, or museums, or end museums. The basic understanding is that the sector comprises industries that bring together a host of disciplines, skills, and activities which include but are not limited to advertising, architecture, the art and antiques market, crafts, design, fashion, film, uh, the list uh, goes on. So I was going to share with you a model by David Thorsby. It's called the concentric, concentric uh, circle model, which gives a clear definition of how we arrive in the creative industries, starting with the core of the creative industries, which is arts education, I would think, starting in our schools and maybe in our homes, actually, and how it actually just builds up into the larger industries, uh, but I'm unable to do so, but please do check it up. Um, and uh, it gives you a very nice overview of what it is that we're talking about. So the various commercial applications of creativity, creativity include sub-industries such as fashion, 
that include textiles, clothes, shoes, jewelry, bag design, you name it, furniture, um, architecture, literature, advertising. And the various occupations, and here yeah, I'm now talking to Namra because everybody when they talk about artists and paying tax, they say the painter, the, the musician, but it's a much bigger um, sector or industry, or, yeah, sector than uh, one would like to think. So if we think just of theater, you're talking about actors, dancers, scriptwriters, choreographers, producers, artistic directors, production managers, sound and light technicians, engineers, and the list goes on, musicians, composers, other music, uh, visual arts, you have curators, gallery managers, these administrative parts. And mind you, I'm leaving out some of them because there's the, the list is very long. Um, yeah, and then when we look at literature again, you have your writers, you have your editors, your magazine writers, your art reviewers, your publishers, art reporters, art teaching. So we have teachers also who are basically in the arts uh, sector, film, television, advertising, media. So your actors again, your composers, your musicians, they all play roles in those um, se uh, uh, sub industries. And then even in tourism, event planners, arts and cultural performers, crafters, visual artists, exhibition, uh, interior design for lodges and restaurants. So the list is, it's, it, you know, you, you, you can never actually draw up a list and say this is the end of the creative industries. And that's the overview we want to give you so that you don't limit yourselves and you have a better understanding of it. And I really call on you to really just go and uh, look at that model by David Thorsby. Um, that, and I, will, I can give you the presentation so you can look at it, so it just gives you a nice overview. However, we welcome this initiative. Um, we are obviously trying to be part of this community that we're in, and we want to play a role in it as well. So this gives us an opportunity to engage, to ask the hard questions, answer them as best as we can, uh, um, and see how we can move forward and find possible solutions for the artistic community or creative uh, community. So this initiative is uh, really uh, a welcome and I don't want to take up too much time. Um, yeah, so um, maybe just looking at the questions that I bring to the table as we start these discussions. Um, are um, what does tax registration mean for the artist? Maybe maybe Namra can already start making notes. Does an artist have to be registered? What are the benefits of paying tax for artists? What proposals can Namra make for the inclusion of the informal part of the creative industries? So um, uh, yeah, so I would like then to say thank you. Uh, thank you for this opportunity. And I really only see this as a start of in more engagements uh, for us also to create uh, more workable solutions, uh, particularly to this sector. And also because this sector is actually the future. It's, uh, it's a sad thing that a lot of people don't seem to see it, but this is the future of the world, not only uh, creatively, but also technologically, and it's something that I think as a nation we need to pay attention to. Uh, thank you.